In this video we will take a look at the slides of uh, mammary gland. The slides are stained with uh, matoxine eosine. We recognize many stages of development of mammary gland, but in this video we will show only two stages. Uh, firstly, uh, inactive mammary gland and uh, mammary gland during lactation. Uh, inactive mammary gland is characterized by a connective tissue and by a scarcity of uh, the glandular elements. In mammary glands, the gland consists of uh, 15 to 25 lobes, each of which is an individual compound tubular alveolar gland. Each lobe is separated by dense uh, irregular connective tissue. Um, the co these uh, dense uh, inter interlobular connective tissue contains uh, blood vessels, for example here. Uh, sometimes it's visible uh, lymph vessels here and interlobular ducts here. Uh, a glandrolobal consists of uh, small tubules or intralobular tubes, no ducts here, which is lined uh, with um, the cuboidal or low columnar epithelium. At uh, the base of the epithelium are the contractile myoepithelial cells, mm. Mm, which uh, I have. Um, flattened uh, darker uh, nuclei here and here. This is the myoepithelial cells. And uh, the intralobular ducts are surrounded by a loose intralobular connective tissue. For example, here it's a, a loose connective tissue intralobular connective tissue. So and uh, mammary glands uh, also contains a lot of uh, adipose tissue, for example here, oh, big, big space, so uh, the adipose tissue here and here. So here you can see uh, fat cells. So the second slide is a mammary gland during uh, lactation. A lactating mammary gland exhibits uh, distended alveoli filled uh, secretions. Uh, some alveoli show irregular uh, branching, for example here. Also here. Uh, because of increased size of the glandular epithelium, uh, the interlobal connective tissue is reduced uh, when compared uh, to the inactive gland. Uh, the active uh, alveoli are filled uh, with, uh, with uh, secretion with milk and uh, lined with um, uh, cuboidal cells. Uh, you can see uh, around uh, nuclei uh, with nucleoli. Mm. For example, here it's nice vi visible low epithelium, cuboidal, and uh, but some alveoli uh, accumulate uh, secretory product in their cytoplasm. And uh, their uh, apathies appear uh, vacuolate or light staining, for example, here. And here. And uh, other alveoli appear inactive with empty alumina. Uh, aligned uh, with um, you know, columnar epithelium, for example, here, here, 
surrounding the alveoli are the myoepithelial cells uh, uh, present between the uh, alveolar cells and uh, their basal lamina. Uh, for example, here you can see uh, nuclei uh, of the myoepithelial cells here. Uh, contraction of the myoepithelial cells expels uh, the milk into the, the interlobular excretory ducts. So that's all for the mammary gland. So here is an inactive, uh, a lot of uh, dense irregular connective tissue uh, and uh, interlobular connective tissue tissue with uh, blood vessels, interlobular ducts, uh, lymph vessels uh, and uh, uh, in the, the lobe uh, uh, you can see only intralobular ducts and uh, loose connective tissue. Uh, the intralobular ducts uh, are aligned uh, with uh, a cuboidal uh, epithelium surrounding by myoepithelial cells and a lot of adipose tissue uh, in uh, uh, the mammary gland in, during lactation you can see uh, alveoli which is lined uh, with uh, uh, simple cuboidal epithelium uh, these cells contain uh, nuclei uh, with uh, nucleoli and uh, the alveoli are filled uh, with uh, milk. Some alveoli it's inactive uh, with uh, and line with um, uh, columnar epithelium. Uh, some s cells accumulate uh, the secretion in uh, the uh, apex of uh, the cells and uh, their apices are uh, similar than uh, looks like vacuolate and in the mammary uh, gland during lactation it's reduced uh, interlobular connective tissue uh, thank you very much for your attention